Well, almost 100 years ago, women were granted the right to vote. The 19th Amendment ended nearly a century of protests. Our Heidi Wigdahl takes a closer look at the fight. Woven together are the names of women who fought for the right to vote. Their stories intertwined as part of the Minnesota Women's Suffrage Memorial in St. Paul. In total, there are 25 names on this memorial with 25 different stories behind them. Uh, so this is a drawer full of uh, suffrage badges. In the Minnesota Historical Society Collection Storage. This is uh, from 1897. 3D so, objects uh, curator Sandra Ryerson points out pieces of history like this sash signed by Susan B. Anthony. A ballot. And past papers. <laughs> Super tiny and, and worn by a suffragist. And other objects that tell the story of a time when women were fighting for the right to vote. And in 1875, Minnesota women got their first chance to vote in school board elections. And shortly thereafter, uh, the Minnesota Women's Suffrage Association was started in Hastings. One of the early organizers was Clara Uland. Uh, she got over 2,000 people to march down the streets in support of suffrage. So this is a gown worn by Maybeth Hurd page. She was one of the first four women legislators uh, elected to the Minnesota House. These women are, are products of their own time. Uh, so when we talk about women's suffrage, uh, some of the women involved in women's suffrage were not uh, in favor of, um, of all people of color having the vote, for example. Topics like this will be explored more in the future. The Minnesota Historical mm -hmm. Society has teamed up with the League of Women Voters for an exhibit in late 2020, marking the centennial of suffrage in the U.S. Yeah, I think the more you know about uh, the fights of the past to, to, to get the vote, uh, the more you see the value of your own vote today. In St. Paul, Heidi Wigdahl, Carol 11 News.